Today, Newsmax returned to all DirecTV, DirecTV Stream, and UVerse customers. This marks the end of a process that began a few months ago. That's when Newsmax and DirecTV were unable to reach mutually acceptable financial terms for DirecTV to carry Newsmax. That left DirecTV without the right to air this show and all the other news shows and opinion shows on this channel. And now, well, we're very happy. This carriage dispute is now over. By the way, nearly a decade ago, DirecTV helped Newsmax get its start, and DirecTV has been a great distributor ever since, and we expect it to continue to be so for many years to come. Newsmax CEO Chris Ruddy joins me. Nice to see you, Chris. Greta, always great to be on with you. I think the last time I was on was with you, but always be great to be on with you. That's nice. To okay, so what happened? Well, we obviously had a very serious dispute with DirecTV. We were off air for several weeks. Um, uh, and we're very glad to report and very happy that uh, we have come to a mutual agreement. I think we both decided that we could spend a lot of time talking about how we disagree, but rather than do that, we can agree on going forward. DirecTV has assured us that they really want to have conservative voices. I think it's a very um, strong statement bringing Newsmax back. Uh, they have Fox News, they have The First. Um, and uh, we certainly appreciate them uh, bringing us back on. And we're live, I believe, today on all their systems, DirecTV, DirecTV Stream, and UVerse. And I also, Greta, really want to thank all our viewers and friends and people in Congress and all across the country that supported Newsmax, um, showed their support for Newsmax. I think their voice was heard. And I think it's really, you know, I have applause for DirecTV. You know, I tell people there's three big winners in this, DirecTV, Newsmax, and America. And I think that's true. <laughs> you know, um, the, the viewers probably don't know, but carriage battles are not that unusual, are they? I mean, from time to time, people, the networks have battles with, the, with, the, with people who carry their programming. It happens. There was a famous one uh, several years ago where Dish took off uh, Fox News. And uh, we were looking back at some of the historical reports about that dispute, and they're sort of very similar to our own uh, our own case with DirecTV. Um, so it's not that unusual. Obviously, the cable industry is a very difficult industry. The satellite, anything involving pay TV these days. Um, but look, we we feel we had a really good agreement with DirecTV. Um, we're very positive about working with them in the future. And um, so far, I think people are very happy all around. I know you had Senator Cruz on today. He's applauding them for taking us back. And uh, again, I think it's just a step in, in as DirecTV said, they support having more diverse voices. And I think of no better way for them to, to demonstrate that by, than by having Newsmax on. <laughs> You know, Chris, I don't, you probably don't know this, but yesterday is my one-year anniversary here at Newsmax. And when Newsmax started uh, about 10 years ago, I was at Fox News Channel. And I will tell you this, I don't even know if you know this, but we were quite worried about Newsmax. And so, you know, it's sort of fun for me now to be here, you know, all these years later and watch its growth and to be, be part of this. I went, I went and started at Fox when it was growing. So, it's, you know, it's, it's quite an interesting time to be in cable news. Well, it's interesting because we're certainly not worried about Fox News. You know, we, we, we were busy building our own news organization. And I think the numbers are showing we're number four in cable news across the United States in daytime. Uh, the Nielsen coverage rating shows we're a top 20 channel overall. So it's very impressive for a new channel that's just several years out of the box. But what's interesting about Fox and the Dominion lawsuit uh, is that a lot of top executives there at Fox were very worried about Newsmax after the 20 election. Uh, there's been a lot of revelations along that line. Um, you know, I actually think competition is good and having more voices better. I think what's happened, and by the way, people want more information on the direct TV. We have our official statement about that on Newsmax.com. It's a joint press release between Newsmax and direct TV. So folks that are sitting there on their on their iPhone or Android can go and just look it up, and it's on the top link. Well, it's sort of fun for me because when I was at CNN when we saw MSNBC launch, then we saw Fox News launch, and so it's fun. And and then when I was at Fox and saw Newsmax take off, you know, all sort of the internal chatter. I mean, all the anchors, what they do, and the producers as they watch and and they and they get worried. Uh, but uh, then we go back to business and we all do our own business. Well, you probably remember in the early days of Fox, when they first launched, they were in massive battles with Time Warner, 
other cable operators. There were lawsuits that went back and forth. It was pretty nasty stuff. So um, fortunately, we didn't have that level of intensity. Uh, but, you know, there's very heated disputes when these things come up. But I think the fact that both parties are very positive about this, I think, is a very good sign. Um, and I think it's great that there's more competition. You know, Fox has been good for a long period, but Fox is changing. And I think that the public is seeing, uh, seeing that, a lot of their news coverage. And I think it's good that we have um, Newsmax. I know tonight, for instance, tonight on Eric Bolling's show, we're going to have Ron DeSantis. And Ron's going to be talking about what his view of the world is. Now, Fox has a sort of virtual ban now on Donald Trump. Our view is let all the candidates, Nikki Haley was just on Newsmax, we want to be an open platform for all the candidates in both parties. We had a Democratic forum where four or five of the candidates showed up in the Democratic primary last time. Um, that was out in Iowa. And we were very happy to do it. So we love those type of things. The more discussion, the more diversity of views, the better it is for the country. Well, I'm glad, it, I'm glad to be back on DirecTV. Newsmax CEO Chris Ruddy, thank you. Thank you, Greta.